Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Robert, and this is Get Your Geek On, our review of the Disney Plus show, What If? Episode 4, What If Doctor Strange Lost His Heart Instead of His Hands. Uh, so, spoiler alert for the episode, we are going to dive into it. Um, basically, the big change in this one is that uh, Dr. Christine said yes. She did. Because in the mm -hmm. beginning of that movie, uh, he's getting ready to go to his event that he's speaking at where he's accepting an award, and he asks her to go with him, and she basically says no. In this yeah. universe, she says yes, she goes with him, and she dies in the car crash uh, instead of him losing his hands. And the rest of the events of the Doctor Strange movie play out pretty much the same. He's, right. he's despondent in grief instead of you know, kind of an anger at having lost his hands. Yeah. But he still goes on his mystical journey. He finds, you know, Kamataj. He finds the Ancient One. He, yeah. uh, we don't see Mordo, really, in that universe. Um, we see kind of a, a similar um, thing where he kind of is playing with the Time Stone, and yeah. instead of it being Wong and Mordo confronting him, it's Wong and the Ancient One. Right. Um, but then the Ancient One dies, and he ends up, uh, bargaining with Dormammu to save the universe. Fast forward two years later, he's the Sorcerer Supreme, mm -hmm. and he's regretting and you know drowning his sorrows in alcohol, uh, missing Christine, and looking at that time stone. He does. And so, before we get into all the details of what he what he does once he looks into that time stone, uh, what what did you think eyes. of what did you think of the episode? It was um, it was good, but I like darker stuff, and this goes that dark tone. It sure does. It's one of my some of my favorite stuff is those darker shows that don't mind letting evil kind of win, actually. And whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that evil wins, I like that the take on that good doesn't always win. So I enjoyed it. It's so wait. So your dark helmet and space balls. Evil will always triumph over good because good is dumb. <laughs> yes, exactly in that sense. Perfect. I was going to say more of like the Grey Jedi code. Oh, okay. You know? That, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. that. Yeah, but evil can never truly win over good mm. kind of thing. Okay. That's how I look at it. Well, not but in this episode. I would say, I still say Star-Lord T'Challa is still my favorite. Okay, yeah. But I'm going to put this in my number two now. Okay. What about you? Um, this was kind of an interesting episode because I, I felt like uh, Doctor Strange is not one of those characters um, that I especially connect to. Right. Um, I, in his first movie, especially, I I really liked him in like Infinity War. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I I really, you know, liked a lot of what was happening. But in that first movie, that Doctor Strange movie, um, I have a really hard time connecting to the character because he's you know, so arrogant yeah. and so, uh, you know, just kind of dismissive and selfish and all those things. Right. And it, I don't really feel like he ever learns his lesson. I mean, by the end of the movie, yes, he's willing to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Right. But, you know, he's still kind of a jerk, um, even really by is. the end of it. And, and I understand that's like part of the character. Like, it's right. just, that's not... I, it's not a, a character I necessarily connect to. And so having an entire episode that is like that character on steroids, where he's like even more ambitious and, you know, an asshole, right. like, pardon my French, and is yeah. just like, you know, really uh, kind of leaning into, you know, like I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get what I want. Right. Um, it's, you know, like I didn't, I, again, at, every moment of his journey and we know he's making the wrong choice but i'm sitting there going man you're just you're just being an idiot yeah like you're supposed to be this incredibly smart person and you're not listening to any of the other smart people around you that are telling you not to do this right um which again is in keeping with the character uh but i don't know like i i thought it was very uh interesting mm -hmm. i did have some questions and and some like hmm, that's kind of odd and weird right um but overall i mean i thought it was i thought it was a good episode i don't know where it falls for me i agree i think the t'challa episode episode two is still my favorite one so far 
Um, I don't know where I would put this one in terms of enjoyment. Yeah. I probably enjoyed it the least just because I don't necessarily like the Doctor Strange character. Right. But it was still a very good episode. It just wasn't necessarily like crowd pleasing when I'm the crowd. Yeah. I wasn't like, woohoo, I love this. It was more like, okay, here's that cautionary tale. Um, not only don't be a jackass, but don't <laughs> like be a jackass on steroids. <laughs> See, and I agree with you. And like I said, the only reason I put it at my number two is for the sheer fact it's dark. Yeah. And again, I tend to go that route always. I like these darker things. And I kind of want to jump straight in. Like you said, he has all these smart people telling him, don't be a jackass. Wong, the ancient, ancient one, one. Obang. Uh, Obang. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's I just... Mean, everybody. Right. It's yeah. just like, please don't do this because, well... Even himself wrong. Yeah. later in the episode. That was it. That was a nice little twist. Yeah. I actually liked that part. Um, I think it was just interesting. He goes and he finds uh, the lost library, essentially, of Co- Cagliostro. Cagli- well, before he does that, he just tries to use the time stone oh, yeah. to save Christine. And we basically see her die like 15 times. Oh God, that's um, hard, though. Which is I'm like, sorry. Uh, it's, it's hard because he's living it over and over every time. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is like the definition of fridging. This is like, you know, we're just, we're going to kill off the love interest to give the hero, you know, the motivation he needs kind of right. thing, um, which they didn't do in the original movie, right? And now they're they're actually doing it and they do it over and over again. But instead of it leading to, you know, in a lot of movies, it's like it, it leads the hero to make, you know, the heroic choice. In this one, it leads him to evil um, because he just keeps pushing the boundaries. You know, the ancient one shows up and... And, you know, he's like, why does she keep dying? I, You know, like, she dies in the car crash. Okay, well, we took a different route. She dies in a different car crash. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, this time we were able to get there, but then she, like, dies of a heart attack. Yeah, okay, it was like, oh. This time I'm not going to pick her up. I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to go on the date with her. I'm just like going to leave her there. And then there's, like, a yeah, an apartment fire, uh, whatever it was. And, and so it's like, why, he's like, why does she keep dying? I don't understand. And the ancient one pops in to basically tell him her death is an absolute point in time. Without her dying, you would not have had the motivation to save us all from Dormammu. Yeah. Right? To to start your journey, basically, right. is what she says. Um, which, I don't know. Like, I find that very odd because we literally saw exactly. a different version of that where she doesn't die. And yet he was able and- to become the Sorcerer Supreme. So, that was kind of weird to me to, like say this is a fixed point in time and if this doesn't happen he can't become sorcerer supreme and I yet it's literally like she could just go with a hammer bam 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 we have a different version yeah where that does happen so i don't know it, it, it was that weird. bothered me that did because yeah. literally if she's like oh well okay i'll let her live but i need to break your hands he'd probably be like cool like she lives right yeah well i'm gonna go break your hands now and you're gonna yeah. have to, you'll still come on this I, I kind of thought that's what the end of the episode was gonna be <laughs> she just hits him with a hammer no 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 <laughs> like that uh, when he's cause the the watcher, the watcher actually cool. interacts like with him and, yes. and it was cool to get some more of him um, we saw him I early do. like halfway through the episode he's like kind of monologuing like you know I could I could try and stop him but he wouldn't listen to me. He doesn't listen to anybody else. He's not going to listen to me. And then you you see Doctor Strange like can sense that he's there. He's like, and I hey. like that. Yeah, yeah that he was knew cool. The Watcher was always around. Yeah, uh, and then I did think that's where the episode was going to go. Is that the <laughs> Watcher was going to make a a deal with him? Yeah. To basically say, you know, I, I, you know, I'll have to take your memory, but I can do this, and and you know, like you'll suffer a different consequence, right. but she'll be alive. And I thought that was kind of setting up like, oh, that's how the first movie happened. Right. Nope. <laughs> nope, not at all. He's just like, the watcher's just like, uh, you, mani- you manipulated crap and see how it turned out? Uh, I'm not going to mess around and find <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, he's like, you messed around and found out? I'm not going to mess around and find out. And see, I do like that because, <laughs> I mean, the watcher does have limited power too. I don't know if he could really reverse everything Strange did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, if he could. But I do like that. Right now, at least, he is sticking to his oath of no interference. Yeah. He only talked to him, but he never interfered with I'm what I'm really was wondering if this whole first season, he's not going to interfere at all I'm, until maybe the final episode. That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe it'll not be until season two. We'll and that's see. what I'm thinking. For the most part, The Watcher, for the longest time in comics, supposedly never interfered. 
and then come to find out yeah and they find out oh yeah he was interfering the whole time it's just like oh, okay thanks man appreciate it right well it's kind of so, like what is it like with the eternals trailer and stuff where <laughs> yes. they're like you know we we guide them but we don't interfere and i'm like how i don't understand what you're saying like you're starting a river uh to give them fresh water i'm pretty sure that's interfering like, you made the mighty mississippi uh wait so yeah it's it's the same type of thing with the watcher it's like well i just help guide people and it's like <laughs> no you literally give them advice and tell them what to do pretty sure that's interfering just a tiny bit i mean i think he even doesn't he even warn people about galactus at one point I think yeah he, warns he, them he, he literally like goes to Reed Richards and like here's the ultimate nullifier you need this to defeat galactus <laughs> it's like which he's I, not wrong. I, I want to be. It's like, achoo. oh, I dropped it. Uh, I like, didn't interfere. It slipped out of my hands. Cough, read, uh, cough. <laughs> right. Two. <laughs> what? It's two. Uh, oh, is he sneezing? Like that's yeah. why I feel like he does half the time. It's it's yeah. so dumb. So in but this yeah. one though, he does not interfere. And uh, yeah. Doctor Strange, after spending centuries absorbing other magical beings to get as much power as he could, has to confront himself because we saw the Ancient One divided the timeline. Yeah. And so you had a good Doctor Strange and then this evil, misguided, as she calls him. Yeah. Uh, Strange Supreme, I think, is is the uh, title that he was given in the in the uh, subtitles. Right. Strange Supreme. Um, kind of look like Sorcerer Supreme. That's a little Or Symbiote Supreme, I mean. Um, <laughs> oh, from, I mean, a little bit at different yeah. times, did it not? That's true. Um, I'll give you that. Uh, and so we see a big battle with them. Their cloaks fight, which was kind of cool. <laughs> I actually like that. I like that. Um, and then he ends up absorbing the good one. Yeah. He brings back Christine, but reality collapses, and the Watcher does not intervene. Nope. And everybody dies. Everybody in that universe. Yeah. He destroyed everything, and I, yeah. I do like that. After he absorbed the good strange, he creates everything. We see Christine come back. But I like that she sees the monster he became. Yeah. Like it wasn't she didn't see Strange first. She saw this, not I don't want to say hideous, but again hideous. Kind of like I mean it looked like a, a demon creature. Yeah. Kind because of. Because he had every part of every creature he took the tentacles, the wings, right. everything. Yeah. And then we see him revert back when he finally realizes I screwed up, and we see Strange again, like normal Strange. Yeah. And then her last words is, "What did you do, Strange?" Right. And that's it. And she's gone. And. So was the entire universe because yeah. you mess with time, you don't know what's gonna happen. I yeah. mean, that's why like this whole thing with Endgame and all that was all about if we can screw this up, we're you, screwed. You mess with time, it tends to mess back. Exactly. Um, but I I did like there was definitely a few callbacks in this. <clears throat> um, you know, they made the joke again about his name. Yep. It's strange, you know, and you have not or a stranger <laughs> than anything else. Um, or which, was funny. Yeah, which uh, you know, it's kind of funny. It's also like I found myself getting annoyed with Doctor Strange because I'm like. Okay, you have a weird name. Yeah. And so you've lived your whole life with this weird name, and yet you constantly correct people in a way that is confusing. Because they're, like, you know as soon as you say, it's strange. You don't say, like, my name is Doctor Strange or Doctor Stephen Strange. You just say, like, he keeps on doing this. He does it in his movie. It's strange. I mean, not any stranger. You're like, of course people oh, are going to respond that way. So I get a little bit annoyed <laughs> With Doctor Strange and in that like, sense. You're right. You think by... He's got to be in his 30s, 40s. You think yeah. he would know. And on top of that, again, I wouldn't... I don't know many doctors, except one that's a friend of mine, that refer to themselves in the first person. Usually they introduce themselves as, I'm Doctor blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Their last name. Usually. I mean, right. I'm sure there's some that don't do that to be non, non-formal. Like I said, my buddy... Yeah. He's, I can, he's I can just weird. He's, he's Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange is odd. You don't want to say strange, huh? No, no. <laughs> Uh, I, I did like the other callback too, though, um, after he first, uh, calls the tentacle monster, which I think is the same one that, uh, Peggy Carter that. fought. Yeah. Um, he, he calls it in to try and absorb it and then he gets basically whipped, whipped around and Obeng is like, you can't bargain with mystical beings, which again, you know, he bargained with Dormammu. Like yeah. it's, it's just kind of a fun callback to use that oh, yeah. particular word. Like you can't bargain. It was a good point because, yeah. like you said, Dormammu was another mystical demon god kind of thing. And yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got. I got it. I can take care of this. Yeah. Tent- but I like how he starts with this little itty bitty gnome. Like that's the first thing he absorbs. Yeah. And I like you go up. He goes up and up and up and starts absorbing bigger and bigger mystical mm-hmm. creatures. Yeah. I don't. 
I don't know. In the end, I did like the fight scene. Yeah, I this, that was a good fight. Strange scene. on Strange was cool. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I didn't. I don't know. I guess in the end, I really just didn't like that. He brings Christine back as that demon-looking thing. Maybe he just forgotten what he was at that point. I just thought I get it. They were trying to just show that he's now a monster, and they were trying to show yeah. this to Christine. I get why they did it, but in the end, I'm still like, I could have lived without that little part. But I just uh, he's yeah. so fixated. It was just weird. To yeah, me. I thought that I thought it was cool, and I mean, he is yeah, he is very, uh, you know, he's he's so singularly focused mm -hmm. to you know the detriment of everything else. I mean, he just spends centuries doing this, which is, of course, why he's able to beat the other Doctor Strange who's only been a sorcerer for two years. Yeah. Like, he's literally been studying all this stuff for centuries. Exactly. Lived a lifetime all to bring back Christine and, of course, finds out, yes, he succeeds in that. He's able to bring her back at the expense of reality. Like, he, right. you know, he literally destroys his own universe yeah. um, to have, you know, an extra 30 seconds with her. <laughs> Which is like, and most oh, of it was just her screaming. Yeah, it's like, oh man, that yeah, I, very dark. Um, good episode. The voice cast all returns. I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch is yep. back. Rachel McAdams is back. Tilda Swinton, uh, B.D. Wong, um, Obeng is a new character. I I don't I don't know that actor's name um, that played him. We even get, and I don't know if you caught it because I saw her name in the credits, and I was like, wait, what? Leslie <laughs> Bibb, who is the reporter character from the first two Iron Man movies that. Uh, was that Tony, her voice saying that she died? I guess in in the in the apartment yeah. like fire or whatever. Yeah, like because because I saw her name in the credits and I watched the episode and I was like, wait, where was she? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? And then it was I rewatched it and I was like, oh, she's the news <laughs> reporter on TV. I'm like, that's yeah. so weird. They got her to come back again that's for cool. one line, um, which yeah, you know. make her cameo and get like <laughs> yeah. two hundred grand or something. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, it was a, a very interesting take on the episode. It went a different way at the end than I was expecting. Like I, yeah. like I said, I thought the Watcher was going to intervene. Yeah. Um, but I, I liked that he didn't, and, and I liked what he said. He's like, listen, you just did this. You tried to undo something, and look what happened. I'm not going to make the same mistake you did. Yeah. Um, so I liked the episode. Again, I didn't necessarily enjoy watching the whole thing because dr strange again is not like one of my favorite characters yeah but i thought it was an interesting <clears throat> take on basically what would happen if dr strange kept on being a jerk and uh dialed it up to 11 <laughs> and just stayed there for a few centuries yeah pretty much so let us know down what you think below too like did you like this one and i always want to know out of what we're on four now what's your favorite episode as of this moment because, again, this is probably my second. Still loving Star-Lord T'Challa. Um, next week is five. And how many more do we have? There are nine in this initial run. And then there's like nine more that I think are supposed to come out next year. Okay, so five so. more. So let us know. And, of course, you know, remember, guys, stay geeky. Follow us on all of our platforms at OfficialGYGO. And get your geek on.